Mark Raymundi for ESPN here today with Olympic gold medalist. How about this? 2020 Tokyo Olympic wrestling gold medalist, Tamira Mensa Stock. And uh, Tamira, there is a very good reason why we are chatting today, but I want to let you be the one to say it. I, I understand you have an announcement to make. Ah, okay. So first of all, here's my gold medal. I know I haven't seen it in a while. <laughs> so shiny after a few years still but um first of all thank you so much mark for having me on and my big announcement is i am going to be retiring from competitive wrestling i i feel like i have done everything that i can in olympic wrestling i've got the gold medal i'm a multiple world champion and i've been in it for 15 years and I've had an incredible journey. Some of the greatest coaches, friends, it's been awesome. But now I'm gonna be going into the WWE. Let's go. Congratulations. So, you, so you've signed a contract with WWE. I have, I have. I will be, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like it's making me sweat because I'm just so pumped <laughs> and I've just been, elated to just get the word out there but sign that contract and I will be in the developmental program and I'm living in Orlando currently right now I'll be starting Monday but it's it, it is take it's going down have you have you done any training yet or it, it will be the first the first time on on Monday the first time will be Monday May 1st <laughs> I'm so excited now, this is something that you know, you've talked about this in interviews, you know, after winning the gold medal in 2020, you've talked about that that's a dream. That's something that you've wanted to do. It's taken a few years now, and I know you've been busy with wrestling as well. Um, but why? how did it come together now and, and why? Um, it just kind of just all fell into place. Uh, after I won the Olympic gold, I went in and did one more world championships and I took bronze and I didn't want to end my career on that note so i did another world championships i wiped the floor with everybody and i was like man this is not fun anymore i i need a change and something in the back of my head that's just been itching at me a dream of mine for i don't know how long i just wanted to be in the wwe so here we are now got a contract signed going to be starting Monday. I've ended my career. I'm retiring from USA Wrestling. It's been an honor representing my country. Going, Man, I will not cry. Just traveling the entire world with my team has been absolutely incredible. And I wish them the best of luck. But yes, that's pretty much how it, how it happened. Well, you definitely have the uh, the exuberance for WWE, for that entertainment medium. Is that something that you've been watching since you were a kid? Have you always been a fan of it? I have definitely been a fan of it. I love watching the athletes just in the ring, just do what they do best. They, they j I just see their personalities just shine through the television. And I see their strength, their, just everything about them resembles me. And I've just wanted to be a part of that. And I, I, I get the chance. Like, come on. Like, go on. What, what do you think will be the, because uh, I mean, look, I mean, you are a, uh, a world-class wrestler, right? You're a world-class amateur wrestler. And there are so many things in that sport that translates so well to WWE, uh, professional wrestling. Um, but what what are you kind of like most looking forward to? What challenges uh, that, that lie ahead are you kind of excited about? Um, I think, I keep thinking how I'm going to fare in a ring with the ropes. Because, you know, in the, the wrestling that I, that I will no longer be doing, it's a mat and it's flat. And there's really no falling out of it. Like you're just, you get called back into bounds, but in WWE, there is no really getting called back in the bounds. Like people are still fighting outside and they're on the ropes getting tossed with and just getting hammered. And I'm going, how thick are those ropes? Am I gonna fare well? And will I have to do flips? <laughs> 
Well, we'll see. Maybe. Maybe you'll learn uh, some shooting star presses, some 450s. Why not? Oh, my God. I have to get a, a membership to, what is that, Jump City or Air City to learn how to do all that. <laughs> Did you have any favorite uh, wrestlers when you were growing up? Um, I have, okay, I'll, I'll just say it, like Dwayne Johnson, uh, The Rock, just all out love just looking at them just uh can i do it <laughs> am i doing it am i doing it <laughs> right like i definitely would have to say he's someone I mean, i'm sure that's for everybody too but he's someone i uh, i've loved just watching throughout the year and just watching him develop and i hope to mirror my career after him well, stock does rhyme with rock, so you have that going oh, for you. Yeah, please don't say less, say more. <laughs> sure. Um, how 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 much are you kind of watching modern day WWE, and and are there any dream matches out there? Are there any opponents out there that you've seen on television, and you go, I wanna I wanna fight her one day? Oh yeah, definitely. There um, there's about four that I've been keeping my eye on. I don't know. I don't know if I should say it, but I've definitely been going. I can beat that. That 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 looks fun to just handle and pin. And the great thing about it is, I'm not I'm not trying to be someone who is I guess cocky. It's just that what I did for 15 years is pin people for a living, right? And going into WWE, th that's how you win. <laughs> Oh, this is this is gonna be awesome. I'm going to be doing something that I've been doing for 15 years. And I want to pin four specific women with kindness and love, and maybe even be partners with them as well. Like I don't know, but I'll leave that to you all's interpretation who I'm talking about. Don't don't tease us now. Like maybe throw just give us one name. How about one name? <laughs> Rhea Ripley. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. I, yeah, I think everyone did hear that indeed. Yes. Uh, very popular uh, SmackDown women's champion right now, Rhea Ripley. I saw. <laughs> yeah, she uh, she handled Flair. That was, that was a fun match to watch. That was, man, I saw her do a suplex. I was like, oh my gosh, look at her. Maybe we could be like, I don't know. I don't know. I, there's, there's just so much excitement. I, I, I can't. Like, like I said, I'm super elated. And uh, yes, I, I can't wait to see what, what I'm going to bring to the table and what I, like how I'm going to flourish. Have you, have you asked anyone for advice about this decision? Because there have been other mm -hmm. Olympic level and, and top division one wrestlers who have gone into uh, WWE, whether it's Kurt Angle, who was an Olympic gold medalist, uh, or even someone like your contemporary, Gable Stevenson, who is down um, in uh, in the Performance Center right now in Orlando. Any advice from any, anyone? Um, I've gotten, it's like a lot of back and forth. Some people have told me, don't do it. You still have so much left to give to the Olympic style wrestling. And other people are really happy for me. And when they hear that I just don't want to be in, like represent Team USA anymore. They're like, all right, well then go get yours. Go have some more fun. I'm like, thank you. So I, it's just like a lot of mixed signals, but all in all, when I told people, look, I'm, I'm really leaving. They're like, all right, well go have fun and go do what you seem like you're about to love. So it's, it's pretty much been that, like a collective, okay, fine, you can leave. Like they're giving me permission. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like pretty good advice. You know, go, go have fun, you know, go, go enjoy, uh, you know, your, your career post something that you've been doing for, you know, since you were a kid um, that translates very well into, into this. Uh, and do you ever, ever think at all about doing MMA in the future? Because that's also a path for a lot of collegiate and Olympic level wrestlers. Uh, someone like a Daniel Cormier, Henry Cejudo, who is fighting, uh, you know, here in a few days in Newark, uh, Olympic gold medalist. Have you thought about MMA at all? Um, I, I did think about it. It was a fleeting thought. And I think Henry is going to go out there and do phenomenal. Um, I have a few teammates who are thinking about doing MMA as well. 
Um, me, actually, um, I don't like the idea of potentially getting submitted and an arm broken or, <laughs> you know, aggressiveness like that. I really just don't want to make weight anymore. Let's just be honest. Like, I don't want to make, I don't want to make weight, but I'll, I'll just say that. I'm tired of making weight. It's been 15 years. So if I do MMA, that's making weight. Even if they do have 12 or 24 hours to recover, I still have to make weight. So what, what um, weight class would you have done if it was MMA? I mean, there's not even a weight class for me in yeah. MMA. I, I'm for, for USA wrestling, it's 68 kilograms, which is 149 pounds. But if I had to do MMA, what is it like 130? Is that the well, weight class? There is a there is a 145 weight class that Amanda okay. Nunes fights in, Chris Cyborg and uh, Kayla Harrison, another Olympic gold medalist. Perhaps you know Kayla. Um, she has fought at 155 um, in PFL, and she's a two time champion in PFL at 155. Yes, you are correct. PFL does have a weight class for me, but let's let's also think about that. Clarissa Shields is there, and that girl can punch. <laughs> So weighing my options, I'm going towards the career that I can win by pin still. <laughs> you know, WWE. You feel, you feel me? Uh, do you do you know Hen do you know Henry pretty well, Henry Cejudo? Um, not pretty well, but I definitely have uh met a few people in his family and I've met him several times and he's just an all-around great guy. And I talked to him about this career change as well, and he was one of the ones that was like, hey. Do what makes you happy. I'm like, thanks, man. Cool. He was recruited by WWE uh, at, from the Olympics. Oh, yeah? He was. Oh, man. I guess he wanted to murder people in the ring. <laughs> but he's, he's, brought, he's brought a character to, uh, he's brought a WWE character to the UFC, though. So you can give, give him credit he, for that. He really has. The Triple C has definitely done amazing things in the MMA. <laughs> Just a few last questions for you. And again, congratulations, Tamira, uh, on the signing. Um, I feel like uh, I feel like uh, women's sports uh, right now is kind of having a moment. And uh, the women's college basketball tournament was uh, in the NCAA tournament was uh, a huge success. The, the most watched ever. Um, you know, I feel like women's wrestling has come a, such a long way over the last five to 10 years, even in the last you know two or three years. Um, how, how cool has that been to watch and to also be a part of? Oh, man. Um, Mark, it's been, it's been incredible just watching that. Like, I know we still have um, some ways to go, but just where we're at, women are getting so much attention and I love it because it's well-deserved. Like we're feisty. We scramble. Like it's exciting to watch us. The basketball tournament. Oh man. Like, did you see how spicy those girls were? Like, wait, why are you doing that? Just go dribble the ball and make your hoops. And they're like, nah, man. It's like, okay relax but like it's just so much attitude and it's just it's just a thrill to watch us just evolve into something that people know that they will enjoy but I don't know it's, it's just been incredible and I, I love watching the growth and I'm happy to be a part of it because when I won the Olympics I honestly didn't think I was going to be on anybody's radar and then all of a sudden I blew up and they were like, did you hear about that girl? Did you hear about that girl? I'm like, oh, man, cool. And I'm just being me. So it's great to just get the attention that I feel we all deserve. Last thing, uh, you know, you've accomplished so much in, in Olympic wrestling, obviously the gold medal. Uh, and I know you haven't even taken a bump yet inside of a pro wrestling ring. There it is. There it is, the gold medal. Perhaps more gold coming in the future for you uh, in WWE. What are those goals now? Cause I'm sure that you're a very driven person as far as, you know, goals and ambitions. I mean, the proof is in the pudding, right? What you've done in, in amateur wrestling, what do you want to accomplish in WWE? Oh man, you're, you're funny. I, you're, you're absolutely right. I am definitely a driven person. When I was 15, I told myself and everybody, Oh yeah, I'm going to be an Olympic champ. That was my first year of wrestling. So obviously I have like grandiose ideals in my head, but um, now for WWE, uh, I'll be starting in the NXT. Um, I'm not sure when, but I'll be in that developmental program and just trekking along, figuring out the ropes, pun intended. And um, I plan on within a year being on SmackDown or Raw. 
and just giving everybody a run for their money, winning with pins. So that's that's my goal. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but man, I know that I got God on my side and I can do all things through Christ and he's got my back. So I'm gonna keep on just shining God's light through me and shoot, whatever happens, happens. But yeah, I definitely plan on being on Raw Smackdown within a year. So be looking out for me, <laughs> watching like, watch it doesn't happen. And I'm like, that's okay. I'm gonna keep striving because that's how winners win. We fall flat on our face and we get back up. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.